Hi folks, Mr. Dell here. We are uh, looking at a word problem and then planning to use the 5D process or the guess and check process to find the solution. So this is from this is from CPM course two, uh, section 5.3.3, but we're we're going to be talking about 5-17. So we're going to be looking at 5-117 as the problem that we'll use to solve, to um, explore this concept of the 5D process. So I'll read the question and we'll go from there. So the Porter Valley basketball team did not record how many baskets each player made during the last game. But Jenny remembers that she made three times as many baskets as Grace. And Alexis knows that she made six more baskets than Grace. Joan thinks that she made four fewer baskets than Grace, and Tammy is sure that she made the same number of baskets as Joan. Altogether, the five players made 40 baskets. How many baskets did each player make? So if we think about this, what we've got is we've got five people, five uh, teammates here, Jenny, uh, Grace, Alexis, jo Joan, and Tammy. So if we're going to establish our um, guess and check table or our actual uh, define table, I, I usually want to put as my first column the 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 part that I'm going to be guessing on, right? So this first column is going to be my guess column, and then I define the rest of the columns based on what I have here. Well, if I look at my um, word problem, I ask myself, if I knew so-and-so, if I knew this, I could then find all the others. Well, if you think about it, Jenny says that she remembers she, what, made three times as many baskets as Grace. Alexis says uh, that she made six more baskets than Grace, right? Joan made uh, four fewer baskets than Grace. So Grace is my independent variable. Grace is the one I'm going to guess on. That's my independent variable. From there, I'm going to be able to find and define Jenny. I'm going to be able to define Alexis. I'm going to be able to define Joan. And then as well, Tammy. Okay, so that's our define part. And then the do part over here, the do part is the check part. The check of the guess and check is I'm going to need to add all um, numbers, right? Because it says all together, all together, the five players made 40 baskets. Add all numbers, they should equal 40. That's where the check comes into play. So Grace, let's just say Grace made 10. Let's start with 10. If she made 10, it says that Jenny remembers that she made three times as many baskets as Grace. So three times as many three times as many would be then jenny would have 30. and alexis she said she made six more baskets than grace so if grace made 10 alexis did 16. and then joan said she made four fewer baskets than grace so grace made 10 four fewer means joan did six and then tammy is sure she made the same number of baskets as joan so if joan is six so is tammy so if i add all my numbers 10 plus 30 plus 16 plus 6 plus 6. What does that give me? Let's see. That's 40, 56, 62, 68. So that's that's too high. And then this is the part where we, de we decide what to do, right? What's our next move? It's too high. So being too high, I got to guess lower. So I'm going to guess. I'm going to drop it down. Let's go 8. Let's see what happens with 8. So if I guess eight, I end up with um, three times as much, right? Three times as much for Jenny. So that's 24. And it says uh, six more than Grace for Alexis. So eight plus six is 14. And Joan says four fewer than Grace. So eight minus four is four. And Tammy made the same as Joan. Okay, so let's add those. 8 plus 24 plus 14 plus 4 plus 4. What does that give me? 
So that's 32, 42, 46, uh, 50, 54. So 54 is still too high. So we got to go even lower. Let's go six. So if I got six for Grace, that means three times, 18. Three times six is 18 for Jenny. And I need six more baskets for, uh, for Alexis. So six plus six is 12. And four fewer for Joan, so that's two. And Tammy has the same. So let's add those. Six plus 18 plus 12 plus two plus two. What does that equal? Let's see. So that's 24. 24 and 12 is 36. 36 and four is 40. Awesome. There it is. So this is where now we declare the answer on my 5D process, another D word there, we declare the answer because it says how many baskets each player makes. So we could declare that Grace made six, uh, Jenny made 18, and we're really, I, I'm gonna write the word baskets once here, but we, we know that it's all baskets, 18 baskets, um, Alexis, made 12 baskets and finally joan joan and tammy made two okay so there is my declare my final answer based on my guess and check okay there you go